Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is a green vase Japanese Zelkova. This is the beautiful arching green vase Japanese Zelkova. Green vase is listed on a lot of websites getting 30 feet high and maybe 20 feet wide. Almost certainly this thing's going to blow through that in some period of time and probably reach more like 50 feet in height and 30 feet in width. Zolkovas are pretty cold and heat tolerant. This tree can grow from zone five all the way down to zone nine. Zolkovas are pretty fast growing shade trees. Green vase can probably put on a couple feet in a single season. Zolkovas are definitely gonna be sun loving trees. This is a plant that can grow out in parking lots and commercial settings. I think it'd be an absolutely leggy mess if you put it in a lot of other tree competition. Because of the ultimate size of green vase, this is definitely a shade tree. The thing about this shade tree though, is almost all the limbs go up and then out in this kind of shape like this. So it tends to stay out of your face. So this tree, even though it becomes quite large, is actually manageable in small spaces. Meaning you'll see this tree planted on sidewalks and commercial settings, in parking lots, because the limbs go up and over the cars, which is quite nice. So even if you had a smaller lot, this is a tree you might want to consider. There's a time, that'll probably outgrow a space in a small yard, but for a very, very long period of time, this would be a very nice addition. Like I've pointed out, the main appeal of Zelkovas to me is this arching habit where they go up and out rather than just coming directly out where you, you know, trees like that, you constantly have to limb them off and they end up looking weird over time. And this one just always kind of stays out of your face like this. It's got beautiful foliage. In the fall, it turns kind of a rusty brown color. It's okay fall color. I don't put it in the I wouldn't grow it for fall color, but it does have nice fall color. I've included videos in the description of this video for planting woody trees and shrubs. I don't think you're going to have a problem with this Zelkova as long as you don't end up burying it too deep. Don't cover anything that's not covered when you purchase it. Break the roots up pretty aggressively. If you're taking it out of a container, it's almost certainly going to be root bound. The first year after you plant your Zelkova, you want to check it pretty frequently for watering. Just dig down a couple inches near it, and if it's dry, drown the whole space around it. We want to saturate soil not just right at the base, but all around it to encourage it to search out that water. These are very drought tolerant once they've been in the ground for a while. Zelkovas have really beautiful foliage in the spring when they leaf out, and you can definitely encourage more of that growth every spring by fertilizing it. Sometime in the late winter or early spring, right before it starts to leaf out, use some sort of slow release fertilizer on it for outdoor plants, really probably doesn't matter all that much what it is. Something that lasts three to four months, so it'll run out by midsummer. Zelkovas will reach a height eventually that are gonna be very difficult to prune, but while they're small, and probably before I planted this one, I'd probably hold these upper limbs together and just take maybe a foot right off the top and even it out and create some additional branching. This one's been grown close to a neighbor. It's likely how your tree's gonna look when you get it because they're grown in a nursery, just boom, 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 side by side by side. And so, you might want to encourage a little more width up at the top, but the branches that come out will continue to go up and then arch out from there. So you, you may eventually get a limb here or there that ends up in your face that needs to be taken off, but the beauty of this tree really is the limited amount of pruning that it requires. There really aren't a lot of pests on Zelkovas. I've seen some scale insects and a few other things. Usually it's on stressed plants. One thing I have seen is frequently very poorly planted on commercial settings and the, the bottom of the tree ended up buried you know, this much or more and all kinds of issues with being poorly planted. Like I said before, make sure whatever you see right now before you plant it is what you wanna see when you're finished. After you mulch, come back and pull that mulch back from the base of it and don't let it start climbing up the tree over time. So what are you waiting for? Even you can grow the fast growing, beautiful shade tree, green vase, Japanese Zelkova. Thank you for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about shade trees. Thanks for watching.